hii mradi ambao tulianza hapa tunashukuru kwa sababu kitu cha kwanza ametusaidia mahali pakubwa sana kwa maisha ya pili ametusaidia pia mahali pakubwa sana kwa wale ambao ICM walikuwa ba, wengine bado walikuwa wajaanza kwa ujenzi mzuri lakini sasa hii miradi sasa inaendelea mpaka watu wanajenga kila mahali sasa mpaka hapo mepanua mahali pakubwa sana watu wanajenga everywhere mpaka kule barini sisi tulikuwa kama vijana wa huku Diani tulikuwa kazi tunapata kidogo kidogo yani kazi ilikuwa ni changamoto sana lakini saa hii sababu ya barabara hiyo ya Dongo Kundu tumewapata manufaa manyumba ndio hizo tunajengewa manyumba tunajenga sio yenyewe ni mafundi sisi ni kama tunapata tuna, tuna kipato chetu kwa kutumia hii mambo ya ujenzi there has been so many opportunities that uh, we have seen and these opportunities are a result of the land the cost of land here has not skyrocketed and we have seen infrastructure being made we have seen the uh, Bukundu Ukunda uh, airstrip being expanded and there is also the Dogopundu bypass which is uh, to be opened very soon and we have also seen there is a road uh, passing through Shimba Hills and also the road that uh, is under lapset that is being opened to be a highway that will be going all the way to Tanzania. These are attractions that are making people to come here in large scale and we uh, find that here in Kuala it is considered to be one of the poorest counties. But ironically, in terms of resources, in terms of opportunities, the potential, it is so huge. Uh, if the government can encourage uh, investors to come down here at the coastal region and in Diani to be particular, for sure it can create, uh, there can be job creations. Like we, with the Africa Homes Limited, we have created uh, hundreds of uh, jobs to young people. And we are believing that as we move forward, we are going to create into thousands. And especially if the government can continue with the support of the affordable housing. Because affordable housing, we have seen it is creating employment for the young people, especially to the locals. Here there have been cases of uh, land disputes. And these disputes have been caused by uh, people, families, rangos. You find that a, fam a land is owned uh, by a family, but you find that that family, maybe there were several wives, and uh, when one family sells, uh, the other family comes and claims they were not uh, involved. So what we have seen the county doing, it is uh, ensuring that uh, when there is uh, that transfer of title, everybody is involved, everybody when they are, there is that uh, issue of consent. They are calling the families, every, every family member, they are calling uh, the villager, uh, the village elders, so that they can come and witness, so that by the time the investor is coming and uh, purchasing the land, there will be no that issue of uh, land dispute. Encouragement is for the investors, you also need to do your proper due diligence, you need to the, go to the ground, get to know whether the family has agreed, don't uh, be sold the property, especially it is, if it is direct. Let's say, like for example, as Mrs. Africa Homes Limited, before we purchase that piece, parcel of land, we ensure we have had a sitting with the whole family, we ensure we go to the family, we ensure we get to know everybody, so that uh, by the time you're getting that uh, title, there is nobody who is going to come and claim uh, that they were not involved. Wow.